Hello everybody, we're back here with some more franchise after two long months of me not doing this. I actually played the last game, I recorded it, and then I found out something must have happened two months ago and the game must have locked up and didn't save my progress when I beat the Cowboys. So I ended up beating them again. <laughs> and I had no, I f no freaking idea. But I ended up beating them again. And I have a wasted video because I already have a game up. But anyways, let's get rolling here against the Colts. Look at all my good young players. Freaking Mark Cooper, Allen Robinson, Jameis Winston. Uh, I got Todd Gurley. Uh, I got DeMarco Murray as a starter. Jermichael Finley, which you'll probably never see him in the NFL again. Right, here Hello we go. Everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this Get that thing the rolling. Every wide receiver in the NFL wants to be a Ah, oh, Michael Crabtree. Two will be trying to be that today. It's the Colts going up against the Patriots. Oh, okay. <laughs> the two freaking teammates going against each other. Mari Cooper, Mike Crabtree. How about that? Now, I forget my defense is better at man defense or zone. Well, we'll have to see. With that kick, these two rivals are ready to go. To rivals is understatement. Jerk off. The flake gate, my butt, son. Tannehill's coming to the huddle. He's had a solid year, but not spectacular. His quarterback rating just over 80. Well, he shows his athletic ability on the field, so you can understand why he can play wide receiver in college football. But what I like about him, what excites you about Ryan Tannehill, is the fact every year he physically is throwing the football better, and that's a big thing in this league. Hey, the Patriots set at the line, hey, hey. dime package. The Colts take it from the 23. Sacked. Get sack. down, Ryan Tannehill. Yeah, yeah. The Colts offensive line could be in for a long day. Based on that one, yeah, bad job that time. They give up the sack, but look, Kobe Flaner, Justin Blackman, which like he's so pretty much done just, at this point. Mutt, yeah, and Crabtree's marked down and a little the freaking pass. They did a dinker. Alright. Last week, their aerial attack was in high gear, throwing looks like man may yards. work this game. It'll be third down. The Colts have to get to the 33 for a first. Blue tent! Blue tent! Ryan Tannehill will take it from the gun. Oh! And it's a reception by... Oh, the freak! What the freak? Oh, come on! What the heck was that? Colts on their offensive play sheet. They don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you going. First down at the 35. Can't believe I just missed that. Oh, come on. Collins is going to make the tackle. It is hard to make a tackle from behind out there in open space with the speed of all these guys in the NFL. But a good job that time by the defense making that tackle. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Gets the handle here. And Rice is tackled down after a gain of two. And with that, let's look at the Patriots' defensive lineup. They're tops in the league in rush defense this season, so we'll see how often this offense tests the front seven today. Wide 20! Wide 20! Second and goal from the six. Mark, yeah. Gets the sack. You got to be quick and decisive when you're down near the goal line and you're throwing the pass as a quarterback. 
That time he was not, and he takes a huge sack. Loss of a couple that time. Third and goal from the eight. Yes. Nice. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. And he converts here on the field goal try. That field goal gives them a leg up here midway through the first quarter. Makes you feel really good about what you did during the week here. Anytime you can get points on the board early in a football game, it makes you think all oh, that practice was working. We've got to return. Winston's trotting out now to join the huddle. Last week he put together a game. Six touchdowns, one interception. Over 100, oh, yeah. so he should be confident today. No doubt about it. In Florida State, he showed everybody. He showed me that he is an NFL thrower of the football. What the heck happened with him again? I forget. Ah. Play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for a big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Oh, man. Dang it. And now we've got a moment. Let's take a look at the Patriots lineup. Surprisingly, their passing attack this year has been rather disastrous. Third down now. The Patriots line up. First down marker right at the 47 yard line. It's complete. Come on. Robinson. There you go. You just can't sit back there and play conservative defense in the NFL. The quarterbacks and receivers are too good. You play safe and you give up the first down. He takes it on the ball. Ah. Dang it. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Come on, let's go. The Patriots have it at the 44. Ah. Uh. Incomplete. Just can't hold on that time. Here's how the Colts defense. A defense has been a porous defense when it comes to stopping the run. Third down following the incompletion. The Colts with two extra defensive backs in the dot. Drop back, shotgun formation. Reaches out and nice. catches it. Finley's marked down at the 34. The Patriots put themselves in a terrible situation. Third and long, but you know what? They got a lot of talent on the offensive side, and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down. A nice round. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. All right, good stuff. The Patriots still driving as the second quarter gets underway. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The second quarter is underway with this snap. Catch made. And he'll step out of the There we go. Yeah. Let's get down that bait. Well, if you guard the tight end close, it, it sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance, they get it done. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Oh, get in there. Grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do. Game is to show your power and get in there. You're gonna Let's come go. out and just make big plays. Ugh. You got to do the dirty. You didn't get it. Oh man. Right. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Dang it, I can't get in there. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for the snap. There we go. 
and I got the freaking objective too, which I totally forgot about. That touchdown partner puts them in front here in the early part of the second quarter. Yeah, it's nice. They scored that touchdown. The defense has got to be kicking themselves because they did not play well or smart on that scoring drive. The Colts are ready to return the kick. All right, here we go. Royals not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. The Patriots defense comes out for the start of the new drive after allowing a field goal the last time. Jim, they hope to play better this time. You take the information that you've learned from, from the last drive, they go out there and correct some of those mistakes. The Patriots will come out in the dime. First down at the 20. Gregory wraps up the nice. Go. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. Ray Rice, perfect fit with the Colts. That's right. The coordinators do in the NFL on third long situations. They're going to call a play where they probably don't think they're going to pick up the first down, but they're looking for field position. Third down, following the run. Ready, wide, 20. Scans the field. Out of bounds nice. It's becoming a right. partner that this defense has done quite a job so far and is ready for this occasion. I know it's only the second quarter, but they've dictated the pace of this one. You are right. I know it's early in the game, like you said, but so far the defense is winning the battle, and I think we kind of expected that coming into today's game. And that picks up three. Here comes DeMarco Murray and the rest of the offense back onto the field. When they're in front, typically, he's the one leading the charge, but it's sort of been the opposite here so far. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm surprised ah. you are too, Jim. We expected them to have a good day here, running the football, that's what they thought during the week. Hey, good thing is they're winning. The bad news is they better start running the football better. The Colts with a nickel look here on defense. Winston's gonna take the snap from the shotgun. And Cooper is able to get nice. Cooper's tackled down after a gain of 12. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down, Jim. That's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. Winston's now completed four in a row. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Out and grabs it. He is tackled at the 40 yard line. That's his first reception today. The Patriots did a good job that time throwing a pass on first down and picked up some, some nice yards now. Second and short really puts the defense in a tough position. We've got a defense out on that field trying to stand tall and keep this deficit as it is on the scoreboard. The Patriots will take the snap from the 40. He's taken down, but yeah, hey, hey. he picks up the first. The slant route made famous by the West Coast offense, something that really I thought came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the 49ers in 1979. Come on, let's go. Winston's back in shotgun formation. Murray with the reception. Nice. The defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Well, they didn't that time. The receiver made a nice little move, gets open, and a good throw by the quarterback. Winston's completion percentage, 80% on the day. Nice. All right. Rolling. Freaking rolling. Nice job that time by the tight end. Makes the catch, and you got to look out for him now in the NFL. Remember, they're usually the closest receiver to the quarterback. quarterback gets in trouble. Nice. Got in there. Yeah, yeah. We're approaching halftime, and with that touchdown, they have a little extra breathing room before the break. Oh, man, they're inhaling big time, and they love the way they feel right now where they're at in this football game on the defensive side. Listen, you got some information. 
I swear, I think uh, playing online has actually made me a bit, a little bit better. I'm not saying like I'm the best at the game, but it's better than how I was in freaking NBA by far. The Colts have put their quarterback in some really tough positions today. Tannehill's tried to drop back and make plays, but he's been under pressure all game long. Oh, boy, watching a quarterback in a day like today, I'm glad I'm up in the booth because that is some beating he is taking, but he's hanging in there tough. <laughs> the Patriots come out in a dime package. Blue oh, tip! First down at the 20. And it's Ayaloka who almost had the interception. Almost. Almost, Tannehill. Almost. The Colts come to the line. Of course, plenty of pink on the field today and in the stands as all of October will be seeing this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Ah. Aww. Going to take it the distance. Ah. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, all the way home and all the way Darn it. Like a hustle, bad tackle, you name it. They allowed the short throw and catch to go all the way down the field for a score. And the extra point is good. Tannehill's going to have a tough time upstaging what he did on that scoring drive, passing for over 80 yards against a defense that had no answers for him. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. All right, let's try to at least get a field goal here. The Patriots' offense looks unstoppable. Touchdown drives the last two times they've had it. And here they go again, Phil. Yeah, they've been very yeah, good, Jim. They're taking advantage of situations and scoring touchdowns, and we know that's what you must do. If you don't get these touchdowns, what happens later in the game always comes back to bite you. The Patriots call a timeout. They're first. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. Here we go. Winston's got it in the gun. Finley's got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Nice. That's five I think it went out of bounds, too. The day. Situations you go over so many times in practice and training camp. Know what's going on in the offensive side. How to preserve time. Good job that time by the offensive player. Get out of bounds and give this team more chances to get it done. I think I pressed like B and freaking Y at the same time accidentally. <laughs> line of scrimmage, the 25 yard line. Here we go. Three step drop. Gets it out for the completion. Picks up eight here. The Patriots use another timeout here, and they have one left. This is third down. Two tight ends on the field here. From the shotgun. Curley's got it. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Come on, hurry up, you jerk offs. One more nah, snap in halftime. The Patriots will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Should be what we call a gimme. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Not risking the freaking the freaking uh, kickoff return. Should be a freaking squib kick in this game. Side kick. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley ready to take the right. over back in the studios, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios and halftime. We're going to ah. transition now. We're about to get the third quarter underway. That returns good for about 22. The Patriots come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. Uh, 
just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. Finley's lined up outside on the right. Here we go! The Patriots from the 27. Allen Robinson has the reception. You got to be able to adjust when they run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good receiver. Winston's completion percentage 80% on the day. Dang it! The Patriots really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. Royals got it on the fair catch as the offense heads out now. The Patriots' defense, where was it the last time? They could not stop the pass. Well, they were trying. I mean, they were working as hard as they could, but, hey, this group they're going against on all that, they're pretty good. The Colts will take the snap from the 25. Has Royal and pick up about four. Royal is one of the best receivers in the NFL. He can run all the routes. One of the How best, about this really? Out that time? Does it with such grace and ease and makes the catch just short of the first down. Hey, wide 20. Wide 20. Go the Colts have it at the 29. Going to be a penalty here. Frick happened. Holding offense. There we go. That's what I needed. The defense accepts the penalty. Still second down. And after that penalty, it's now second down and 16. The Patriots defense now loading up, expecting Ray, pass Ray, with a dying defense. Right. They'll mark him at the 22. I think, Jim, you know, when you got a close game like this, it's third and long on the offensive side, you got to be smart. You know, don't take a chance. If you take a chance and cause a turnover, then that could turn the game around big time. So I expect the quarterback here to be very conservative with his decision. Pulls it in. Yay. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. It's third and long. Nobody open down the field. So the quarterback does the only thing he can do, throw it short. Gurley's going to take this one from the 24. Oh, my He's God. I couldn't even see him. The 36. Putting off screen. A run back of about 12. The Patriots offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive. A quick three and out. Yeah, ah. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive. They got good players, and they're pretty excited, so this is going to be tough on the offense. Winston's all by himself in the backfield for this snap. Oh, let's go. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Catch made. And he nice. is tackled at the 44. That's another reception. Give him two. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. Let's go. The Patriots have it at the 44. And it's hey, hey, hey. there to meet him. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. And to give now to DeMarco Murray. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense has been tough today. They are fighting out there on the field. That's a nice job. Picking up that first down. It's been fun to watch. They got a small lead here in the second half. We'll see if that first down can lead them to a score. And game's maybe four. Murray never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Second down and six. Ay, 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 ay. The Patriots offense tries to continue some momentum, still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway. Coming to the line at the 32. The Patriots will line up. First down line, right at the 15 yard line. Oh, he dropped it. No. Come on. It's up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job. Get that shoulder into the receiver. Knock that football out and get it to the ground. That field goal should make their job a whole lot easier for the rest of this fourth quarter, Phil. Yeah, it's kind of like you and I do in the games. Everything I do, I just, I make everything easier for you, Jim. Royals running this one out. And he's had across the gotcha. 20 and to uh -huh. at the 21. The Patriots defense would like to repeat what it did the last drive. Not being out there too long, just three plays and forcing a punt. Well, they're going back out there. They're fresh, man. And the defensive line, the defensive front, they were awesome. That's why they got off the field so quickly. From the gun. Flag comes out. The frick. Pass interference. Defense. Ay, uh, what the frick out <laughs> here? Come on. Screw your face. Automatic first down. You jerk. the football at the three and ah. the tackles made right around the 32 yard line in the build-up to this game we didn't talk much about the matchup at tight end but it's been a good one Phil it has been good I know the defenses really didn't focus on the tight end when this game was starting but I know this they better change their focus and start looking at it the Patriots played in a tight game last week. In the middle of another one this week. The scores 20 to 17. First down at the 32. Ah! And this will end up as a two-yard loss. The Colts defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. The Patriots come out with a split backfield. Allen Robinson with the catch. That's his fifth catch of the day. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches. Running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. The Colts go with the dime formation here on defense. Third and seven. Two hands on the football and has the catch. Oh, we're so going for that. This is called this. managing the football game as a head coach. What are you doing here? You've got to lead. It's close. It's fourth down. It's short yardage. You're near midfield. Don't do it. Punt the football away. And if the other team's going to go ahead, make them drive the length of the field. The Patriots will take the snap from the 40. Yeah. Well, you got a small lead in the second half, and you go for it on fourth down. That is a risky proposition, but the head coach took a big sigh of relief over there on the sideline because they picked it up. Good job by the offense. That long game sets them up here on this play. And DeMarco Murray comes down with it. Jackson, that time, in on that tackle. 
If it was me, I would cover the short receivers and force this guy to throw it down the field. You're behind by a few points. you got to try and force the issue. Winston's now completed four in a row. Yeah! Inbounds. Finley's a big target, but he plays that tight end position like he's a wide out, Phil. Yeah, you know what you see now, Jim? It used to be everything was focused around the wide receiver. He was the number one guy in the passing offense, but now we see many tight ends who are the number one option, just like we're seeing here today. When you run the football like this, if you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake oh, it and try to throw the football get down someone the open field, here. the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second and six. Yes. Michael Finley freaking beasting it up. That's reception. Number seven for him. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time throws it down the field for another completion nice situation here for the offense they're winning the football game now they're in the red zone let's see if they can come up with a play that pulls the defense the Patriots coaching staff oh. wouldn't mind avoiding Darn it. close games every week but right now they're winning another tightly contested game well sure I'm sure they wouldn't mind the blowout victories but that's not going to happen I think everybody in this league knows it's how you do in the close game that defines what you're going to be yeah yeah The fullback in most offenses in the NFL very seldom gets to carry the football, but down near the goal line, they serve a good purpose. Quick hitting plays by a big, powerful guy gets it done. Winston certainly giving his team some momentum with that scoring drive. He just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards. That was a good drive. Royals gonna take a knee, so this will come out to the 20. The Colts will try to continue this scoring onslaught as a shootout has developed on both sides of the field. I have a little advice for the offensive coordinator. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Keep the pedal to the metal. Your players fumble. are playing great, hey, hey, and let them keep line, rolling. 20. Here I come, 20. First down at the 20. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. First down, pressure on every snap down. If you think you can get a playoff quickly and not use a timeout, you go with the hurry-up offense. That time, a good job by the coach and the quarterback. And he knocks the ball out of his hands. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football falls incomplete. Rice is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Underneath what the frick was that? Find a mark that time as the pass goes that was smart. <laughs> like the Colts are. This, be very careful on the offensive side. On third and long, they'll be in four down territory here. Tannehill's alone in the backfield. Ready, Why, 20. Why, 20. Tannehill's going to take it from the gun. Yeah. That's got to be it. That's got to be the game ender here, partner. The interception basically ices it. It does. You know, sometimes when you're behind as a quarterback, you take a chance. Darn it. Can't get any running game guys. Oh. Can get it going, Tynoski, but not freaking DeMarco Murray. Second down and 11. Murray's got ah. the football. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Third and six coming up. The Patriots break huddle and show a jumbo look. The Patriots will take the snap from the 30. Winston's on the move. Nice. That's his first reception today. Well, it was an awesome job that time by the quarterback getting out of the pocket. He keeps the play alive and able to get down to the field for a nice completion. Winston's completion oh percentage, 80% on the day. Defense now signaling for a timeout. Yeah, screw it. Let's go for the objective. 
breaking huddle at the 14-yard line. Black Brown, let's go! Black Brown, Black Brown, Black Brown! Let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! Second down and 12. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Get the freight. Come on. It's tight down here in the red zone. So if you're a defender, he's a quarterback. You make a quick break on the football. Hey, you get in position like this, you can knock it down. The Colts defense now is going to go nickel. Third down and 12. Ah. Has the sack. We got to give that defense in front a lot of credit, and they are pushing it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down. And they get back to the quarterback and take him down. Is that field goal makes it virtually a 